I've got this test that I've been doing that I've wanted to do for my sick pleasure. I've got 124 grain full metal jacket, then a hollow point, and this is just a hollow point that you use for doing stuff. I've done a red line loan on all of these. We're gonna put four into gel. So we're gonna do 124 full metal jacket, 124 hollow point, 147 full metal jacket, 147 hollow point. Shot placement on the front. We have 124 full metal jacket, 124 hollow point, 147 full metal jacket, 147 hollow point. Now we'll see here, this one came through, no wound, no wound, and then we've got a little bit of a wound cavity here at the back. Remember, this is the red line load of a Glock 17. This is the absolute maximum it'll do. This one though, the bullet shattered. Actually did terminal damage, ripped some out the side of the block here, so we're talking good two inches width. Mm -hmm. Looks like it kept on yawing as it went. About two inches of height. We've got a piece of the jacket that came over here. Now this is the X-Metal target hollow point? No, this is uh, Freedom Munitions, okay. 124 grain hollow point. That's what that did there. And honestly, that kind of looks like a defensive load in terms yeah. of the wound cavity, because we yeah. have shot our defensive loads as a mm -hmm. test before. Looks like it would do in a pinch. Yeah. All right. Now we're going to roll down. We'll notice 147 full metal jacket. We strip, we strip part of the jacket here and it did a wound cavity all the way along because it shattered partially stripping the jacket. And we've got more jacket fragments here at the back before it exited. That's actually not terrible performance out of a full metal jacket, actually. Yeah. Let's see what the 147 hollow point did. Nothing. No expansion. It did a slightly larger wound cavity. If it had shattered, it probably would have done better. Mm -hmm. Something closer to the, to the full metal jacket, but it didn't. That one didn't even yaw. Yeah, it did rip the gel in a spiral pattern, but... It didn't go end over end and make a... Makes me think that I need to be loading up more 124s in the hollow point because... Yeah. That actually looks like it could do decent terminal performance. <laughs> yeah. It's not an HST, but it'll do. Heck, I mean, it's not meant for that. It's meant for target shooting. So yeah. You punch prettier holes in paper, but... Yeah. The gel block doesn't lie. 